Last time we told you the story, which was very, very sad, the day that Jesus died. Well, at the beginning of the next part of the story today, we hear how Jesus' friends started very sad, but then there was a huge surprise, and it ended with a very happy ending. So let's hear the story. Let's open the book and hear about a happy day. A happy day. It was very early. The birds were still in bed, and the sun had yet to open its bright eye on the world. The sky was grey and grainy. The air was cold. And three women walked slowly towards the graveyard. Jesus was buried there, and the women were coming to visit his grave. They talked in sad whispers. They cried. They held each other's hands. Jesus had been dead for three days, and they missed him very much. Just as they reached the graveyard, however, some surprising things happened. The ground began to shake. The air began to tremble. And quick as lightning, an angel flashed down from heaven and rolled the stone away from Jesus' tomb. Everything went quiet. The ground stopped moving. But the women shook with fear. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Come and see. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Arm in arm, the women crept past the angel and into the tomb. The sheets were still there, the sheets they had wrapped round his body. But Jesus himself was gone. Where is he? asked the women. What have you done with him? I told you, smiled the angel. He's not dead any more. He's come back to life, and he wants you to tell all his friends. The women looked at each other. They didn't know whether to laugh or cry. They could hardly believe it. That is, until they hurried out of the tomb and ran straight into Jesus. Oh, Jesus, they cried. It's true. You're alive. And they fell at his feet, amazed. There's no need to be afraid any more, he said. God has made everything all right, but I have a job for you. I want you to tell the rest of my friends that I'm alive. Tell them I will meet them on the seashore in Galilee, where all our adventures started. The women waved goodbye and hurried off to Jerusalem. The birds were singing now. The sun's bright eye was wide open. And they had the most amazing story to tell. Well, what a wonderful, amazing, happy story. For Christians, this is the best story in all of the Bible because it tells us of how Jesus won the battle against everything that's bad. He defeated death and pain and all that wrong and he proved his power by coming back to life. Christians celebrate this story every year on Easter Sunday, and it's an amazing story of hope and joy and new life. So I'm going to end with a short prayer, and if you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you that on Easter Day you rose back to life, defeating all the wrong things in the world. Help us to always put our faith in you. Amen.